Hello, this is Margaret with Noble Desktop, and today we will be looking at speed in Premiere Pro. Let's look at this clip, how they're meeting each other. Okay, let's say I want to slow down this middle clip. I'm going to highlight this clip and say Command R, which is the shortcut for speed. Now this gives you a lot of options. What would you like the speed to be? I want to slow it down. I want to cut the speed in half. Yeah, I could not only slow it down, but reverse it. I can reverse my entire clip. I can maintain audio pitch. I can ripple edit shifting trails. And these we will look at in another class. So ripple edit shifting trails has a great function. If this is not checked, what happens is that this will slow down by half, but it'll also cut the clip in half. And we'll look at that. If I don't maintain audio pitch, you'll have like a very want, want, want effect on your audio, which we will look at using a person, which makes it much more obvious. I'm just going to make sure that I check both of these and then I'll say, okay. So you see how this got twice as large and it looks like this. Now I'm going to command Z and what happens now? If I were to speed it up, I'll say 300. And I will click both these. There is audio. I want to maintain ripple edit shifting trails. And this is what happens. So it got much smaller and it closed the gap. And I'm going to Command Z again. If I were to select this and say 400, but uncheck ripple edit shifting trails, this is what happens. It just leaves an annoying gap for me to close myself. So I'm going to look at this interview with Dan. So let's just say I wanted to slow down this clip. Let's do that. Command R. And let's say I want to slow it down to 50. I'm going to maintain the audio pitch. Ripple edit shifting trails and say OK. Got twice as long. It'd say, oh, so you do the cover? Well, that's one part of it. He just, everything is slower. I'm going to Command Z. And if I were to do this and, and not check maintain audio pitch and keep it at 50, not maintain audio pitch, this is what happens. Oh, so you do the cover. That's one part of it. It does also the. Looking at speed, there's also a speed tool. It's called Rate Stretch. And the Rate Stretch tool is R. The command for speed is Command R. Now, the Rate Stretch tool has a lot of limits. One of its most important limits is that you can't extend it. I, I'm in R right now. It's not going to let me make it slower. I have to make it longer. If I'm in R and I pull something out, I'm trying, but it's, it won't do it because something's in its way. So here's these two guys. But if I were, if there's nothing in its way, I can pull this out and get slower. I can pull this in and it'll get faster. Same with this one. Let's look at this one first. If I pull this in, it will get faster. Command Z. If I pull it out this way, it'll get slower. I really want to use the rate stretch tool on this as opposed to using command R. I might just go ahead and put this on its own track and then say R and then pull it out. Press A, remember the select forward tool, and then move everything over. You could assume there's other code chips of it. So here it is slowed down. And then you can be neat, a neat editor, and just put this back on track one when you're finished. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on speed in Premiere Pro. This has been Margaret with Noble Desktop.